it's almost The cry is about to be made Behold the bridegroom cometh Have you any oil? Are you saved? Glory to God! Mm. And I don't want to sit in those signs. Glory to God! Also, as I was sitting here hearing mm -hmm. and receiving. All right. And one thing God just brought to my spirit here, saying, among us and whoever you know listening to will be listening to this. He's saying to me, "It's decision time." Mm. All right. God say it's decision time. Mm -hmm. Decision time is who you gonna serve. Oh, yeah. oh, who are you gonna serve? You, all right. All right. He said, "Children, is that who you gonna serve?" Hallelujah. Yes. Is it gonna be man uh -huh. or God? Wow. Jesus. See, God got to an answer question. He wanna ask us today mm -hmm. and ask you today. Yeah. Who are you gonna serve? Mm -hmm. Who are you gonna serve? At this time and hour. Yeah. See, the Lord said, "A judgment mm -hmm. of God mm -hmm. is coming." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's coming. Yeah. Whether we like it or not, right. God's judgment is coming. Yeah. And see, the Lord woke me up one morning with the scripture of the book of Lamentation. Come on now. He brought Lamentation to my attention. Mm. Early, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wednesday morning, and was telling me, I read, he took me from chapter 1, all the way to chapter 5. All right. I didn't get to get to chapter 5, but I went from chapter 1 to five 2 and 3. Was the prayer. Yes, it's the prayer. Yes. And then chapter, I think of chapter 2 and 3, was speaking about the judgment. Yes. And how the, the priest said, he was speaking about the priests. Yes. He was speaking about the prophets. Yes. And how they are out there deceiving. Yes. Some of the prophets. Some yeah. of the priests is out there deceiving God's people. Yo, yeah. you're right, sir. Yeah, and he was speaking about Jerusalem. Yes. Uh -huh. See, I heard one of the sisters spoken yesterday about Jerusalem that they're gonna have prayer mm -hmm. on TV this Sunday. About praying for Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And see, that is what God is concerned about. See, we, we can be like Jerusalem, yeah. even though there's a foreign country. Yeah. But we have Jerusalem right here too among That's us right. today. And there are some that still is rejecting God and not following God's command. That's it. See, we are it. not following God's command as we should. Mm -hmm. That's why he's saying, choose, make a decision, it's time. Amen. To make a decision who you're going to serve. Because like I said before, the judgment of God is coming upon this earth, upon God's people. Yes, yes, yes. His judgment is coming. His Amen. judgment is coming because we're not following his command. Yes. We're not being obedient. Yes. To his command, yeah. to Jesus' command. Thank God. You see, we're going out there doing what we want to do. Yeah. What we think we want to do. Oh, and we're oh, not Lord. following the voice of God. Hallelujah. Mm. We're not following the commandment of God. Mm. Mm. And God is telling us today we got to come out from among it. Right, He's telling us today, come out from among it. Be separated from all those things of the world. Because it don't do us no harm. It don't do you no good. See, God is calling his people. He's calling his people. He's calling his chosen vessels. He's calling his prophets to come. It's time to come out. It's time to make the decision and, and choose and serve him. And you know what my thing is? I would go for Jesus. And I would go for him all the way, even to the end, till he comes. Oh, yes, Lord. He tell us today, he say, occupy yourself. Till what? He come. That's what we got to do today. We got to go about our father's business. Go out there in the streets and compel and tell these people. Oh, yeah. The Lord had me ministering to a teenager, a little young student. I served at the school in my town. And this little boy, so... The devil, is, the enemy ha, has come into his life so much mm -hmm. where he's just so caught up into drugs. Mm -hmm. He's so confused and don't know what to do. But I told him, drugs don't have the answer. Right. Oh, Jail cells don't have the answer. Woo. 
Jesus has the answer. He's the answer toward every situation, every problem, every drug problem. Jesus is the answer. And that comes to the point where we got to call on him. And we got to confess. Romans 10 and 9 tell us about confessing with our mouth. And believe with our heart and showing up. He took that Bible. And I opened that scripture. I don't care if the teacher was there, mm. assistant teacher was there or not. I opened the word of God to this child because he came to me. Mm. He, yes. God pointed him to come to me mm. and to yes. share mm. the good news, the gospel to him. Mm. And he Man. repented. He repented. And he confessed, as Romans 10 and 9 said, with your mouth. And confess with your mouth Woo. and believe that Jesus oh. Christ is the Son of God. And he came to save those that which is loud. He yes, came yes. to save them. He confessed that prayer. And I think he did not realize it, but he knew he was saved. He was saved. That's the most important thing, is them accepting Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And once you do that, then the rest will come. God will add the rest. So I just give God the glory. For us to realize time is at hand and the judgment is coming. Hallelujah. It's coming whether we like it or not. It's coming on the face of this earth among each and every person in the body of Christ. Whether you are a believer or not, judgment is coming. Like I say, Lamentation will tell you if you read it. The whole book of Lamentation is five chapters. God's word is coming. Thank you. And I add to the fifth Amen. chapter of Lamentation. In my privacy, the Lord showed me. In the book of La Lamentation, chapter 5, it was written by Jeremiah. And, yes. and even though Lamentation is like a judgment, but the fifth chapter okay. say there's still hope. Yes, it's hope. That's, that's the fifth chapter. It's a prayer. But there's still hope. hope. If you repent. repent. And if you repent, you'll be restored. Yes, you will. Hallelujah. Amen. So these books was written for us mm -hmm. to live by. Mm -hmm. And when you look at Lamentations and you begin to see yourself in the mirror mm -hmm. and you're going to say, when he gave that prophecy, no more lying, no more no bribing, no more. Mm -hmm. This system, this world that we live in, it makes us all lie. Mm -hmm. You can't get this because you don't have that, so right. you tell a lie. Mm -hmm. right. The Lord said, no more lies. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's almost The cry is about to be made Behold the bridegroom cometh Have you any oil? Are you saved? Brought to you in part by Hermika Bibbins of MarketTrendConsultants.com and Craig Anthony Nicholas, MrCan.net.